I got a really good idea, and the idea had a lot to do with something that you guys were saying. We should try and hunt some moose from a tree stand, but then I was thinking, better yet, why don't we try and hunt everything possible from one single tree stand? And the reason I thought of this is because we were out here bear hunting the other day, and while we were bear hunting, well, we had tons of action. Let's just say, I ended up passing up gobblers, passing up fox. We ended up passing up so many whitetails and so many different animals, all from this one spot. So I thought, instead of having to not take the shot this time how about we go back to that that same exact stand and just see how many awesome animals we can get from that one tree stand all right so we just got up in our tree stand over here and i already hear a fox coming in and he is right there 30 yards out perfectly broadside we're gonna draw back you know we don't actually have to rush this because typically they go right underneath our tree stand here so we'll just be patient. Let him come a little closer. Ooh, we got two fox here. All right, well, we gotta be a little more careful now at this point. But I do in fact think that this fox should cross. Definitely in range. All right, here we go. Gonna trot a little bit on us there. About 29 yards out. <laughs> Wish I could slow him down. That'll work. Oh, we went right underneath her. Right underneath her. Oh. Ooh, hold up. We're getting a call from a black bear right behind us here. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, a five medium. All right, can we throw in the 600s real quick? We could. And there he is right there, 60 yards out. Which way is he going to go? Which way is he going to go? Hold still right there, hold still. Quartering away Texas heart shot, we pulled it off. Woo. All right, well, that definitely makes up for us messing up on that fox. Although the fox really wasn't our fault. I mean, we took the shot right there, but we were zeroed in for right there, which would be 30 yards. And by the time we got to there, it's already 38 yards. So we dropped right below the fox and went right behind the intestine. Oh, that's one thing that I absolutely would love to see in Call of the Wild. And we need it so bad. All we need is a button that we can press. I mean, potentially, I wish it, they could have two different sounds. What if they have one where it was like a meh, meh, you know, like a deer, or two, it could be like a mouse squeaking. So in that case there, you'd be, you know, get its attention, turn back, and then you take the shot. I feel like that is so needed in Call of the Wild. It's so needed. And here she comes right here, about 70 yards out. She's in a little bit of brush there, so definitely not quite a shot opportunity just yet. But if we're lucky enough, she just might step out. There she is right there. We do, in fact, have the predator caller, which we could probably bust that out. See, we only have about 10 minutes left before these whitetails start to come over here. See, they feed there and they rest. Actually, I don't know where they rest. But I know we don't have a ton of time before the white tail are in fact going to start moving this direction. So I would love to be able to take at least one fox down before. Ah, there it is, but that is no shot. Not quite a shot. Just not quite. Oh, I hear something else. Could be whitetail, could be... Yeah, it's whitetail. Oh my god. Good thing we did not take a shot at the fox because now we got whitetail coming. Ooh, good buck coming right underneath us here. 30 yards out. Now, there's an even bigger buck here somewhere, so I don't know if we should just take down this buck. At the same time, I don't really want to... Like, not take a shot right now and then wish that we would have. So... It's a solid buck. It's definitely not anywhere near the biggest one, but I don't know if the big buck is in this area. 
And let's actually hop down there quick and pick him up. So that way, if another big buck comes by, he doesn't see this buck laying here and get a little freaked out, if you know what I'm saying. So straight down from the tree stand, got a lung liver and stomach shot eight yards away on a 171. White tail buck. Solid looking buck, actually. You know what I mean? All right, here we are back up in the tree stand, and let's see if we can't get ready on this fox. I feel like this fox should be coming out here any minute now. And also, the wind is shifting in our favor, finally. All right, there's our fox. There's our fox. I see him. I see him right there. Right there. 60 yards out. That's a shot. That is a shot. Well, I don't think it was a miss, but it definitely wasn't a perfect shot. The question is, was it a hit? And since I don't see our arrow over there... It looks like it was a hit. Let's check the hunting pressure. There's no way we're going to be able to tell from that either. What we're going to have to do is wait a little bit and we'll go down there and check to see what the blood looks like. Otherwise, uh, another way we'll be able to find out if we got him or not is if we wait a little bit and we hear that fox calling again, then obviously we didn't get it. But if we wait a little bit and we don't hear the fox calling, then there's a pretty good chance we got it. All right, so the big whitetail buck should be coming in here very shortly, and we're actually going to call from a rooster pheasant. We might be able to take down a rooster pheasant out of this tree stand as well. I definitely was not planning on that happening. Not even the slightest bit. But since it is going to happen, oh yeah, you bet we're going to take a shot right out of this tree stand at that rooster pheasant. Once he shows himself. I mean, I knew for sure we'll get some turkeys here. And I know definitely we will tonight. Because once the bears start to drink and the fox drink around uh 1700 at night oh i almost forgot dude our bear that we dropped over there i kind of want to get him but you know what we'll do i'm gonna write this down so we don't end up forgetting that bear because i definitely want to make sure we get him before the end of the hunt i'm gonna put black bear behind tree stand oh <gasps> okay i was just writing it down and i heard something coming and it's right underneath us i don't know what it is it's a turkey. It's a hen. So... Oh, we should probably take it down. Headshot! Yep, got it. Perfect. Perfect headshot. Ooh, there's our pheasant! There's our pheasant! Oh my god, I see it! And we're gonna call from a bear as well. Oh! Our pheasant spooked. Wait, 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 wait. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh my god, it's landing. Is it gonna land? Come on, land, 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 land. Oh. Oh, we got a rabbit. 85 yards out, we got a rabbit. We're going for the shot. Good bit of crosswind. Got it! Just flipped right over. 85 yards. Oh, the pheasant's still there. Oh, I didn't know the pheasant landed. All right, find the pheasant. Find the pheasant. We gotta find this pheasant. Well, the good thing is I'm pretty sure we got that fox because I haven't seen any movement over there in quite a while. That's the other pheasant over there. Apparently, there's a black bear here too. Oh my god! There's another... Oh, there's the bear. Holy, there... Wait, is there not a gobbler in here? These are all females coming in. So we got two hens coming and a black bear coming as well. I think we'll pass up on the turkeys for now because there's no gobblers. But I don't think we're going to pass up the opportunity on this black bear. Now we have the 420s equipped. And since it's only a female... Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Is that a big buck? It's definitely a buck. Oh my god, that's our big buck. That's our big buck. Oh, we're going to have to pass up on this black bear, guys. As much as I really would like to take a shot on that black bear, we're going to have to pass it up because our big white tail buck is coming in. And here he comes right here. Oh, my God. 
Couple more deer coming in behind as well. There's that Y buck I saw before. All right, let's get ready. Ooh, bear is right underneath us. Oh, there's a lot of action here. Watch our big buck. There he is right there. He stopped. He knows something's up. He's definitely not getting any closer. So we got to be patient and wait for him to step out and get ready to take the shot. We just got to. Come on, big buck. Come on. Ooh, that's what it is. That's what I heard right there. There's another buck right there. 20 yards out from us. He's a good buck. He looks to be like a 170s buck. So he's definitely a shooter buck, but we're not going to be taking him down at this point. Especially the fact that we have this giant right here. Oh, we got ducks coming in. Look at this. Mallards. Got a one trivial there. Nothing super special, but they should land out here in a little bit. And if we're lucky enough, they'll come out within 80 yards or so, and we'll be able to take a shot. Yeah, they should be landing there any second now. Boy, this buck really is a stubborn one. Where are these ducks at? So there's that buck still. And did our buck seriously not move this whole entire time? <laughs> I <laughs> kind of blown away at the fact that this big white tail has yet to move a single inch. And dude, where are these ducks? It sounds like they're back here. It sounds like they're... Oh! Oh my god, there they are! There's two right there. Two hen mallards. Three hen mallards. Four. Oh, a drake. It's only one trivial, but it's a drake. And that might be a drake as well. Oh, there's a nice drake. 60 yards out from us, guys. Nice drake mallard duck. Definitely gold potential. We absolutely cannot risk spooking this buck, though. Absolutely cannot risk it. Oh, my God, you guys. We got whitetail coming right past us here. And that's our giant buck right there, 30 yards out. We're smoking him. Zeroed in for 40. Hot right for the heart. Should have been a perfect shot. No way our ducks didn't spook. Our ducks didn't spook. Well, they're a little bit spooked. But they're not super spooked. 60 yards out. They're actually calming down. No way. We're going to be able to pull off a shot at a duck from out of this tree stand. All right, let's put on our 300s here quick. There's a two right there. But I can't really see it good enough for a shot. There, that's the one I want. 60 yards out. Come on, give me a shot. Give me a shot. I see it. Oh, I see it, but barely. Oh, I don't know if we got it or not. That was a bit risky. Oh, yeah, baby. We got him. When you look over there, you see wing feathers. You know you got them. Yes. Oh, we doubled up. Big white tail buck and big mallard duck out of the tree stand. So that shot there was 29 yards. And we're zeroed in for 40 and I held right on top of the heart. So we're going to get a little bit of raise, but... Definitely did, in fact, get a nice vital hit. Oh, my God. More deer, more deer, more deer. Hold up. What do we got coming in here? All right. We're going to go for a shot on this, too. Oh, I got to throw back in the 420s. Okay. Nice, wide-looking buck coming in right underneath us here. Got more ducks coming in as well. But let's definitely get a shot on this buck. Hold on. What do we got there? Oh, he's right underneath the stand. Perfect shot. Dropped him right there. 
Nice buck down. I'm not exactly sure what that deer was there. Oh, we got more ducks coming in. Oh, golden eye. Oh, hopefully they land out here somewhere. Oh, they're gonna land, they're gonna land. Get our 320s back, get our 320s. Nice. Actually, that's not a drake. I thought it was gonna be a drake, but you know what? One of these should be a drake. Oh, those are all hens. What do we got here? Oh, a drake. A drake golden eye landed right there. Only one drake? Wow, only one drake golden eye. All right, we're going for a shot. 62 yards out on this one. A drake golden eye right there. It's going to be our first drake golden eye out of a tree stand. 62. Oh, what just landed? Pretty sure it's a hen, but I want to check just to make sure. Yep. Hen, male, or duck, as a matter of fact. Two hens. All right, here we go. 62 yards. So those are all mallards. 53. So now it's saying 53, but I want to double check something once. 53, yeah, 59, so 53 should work. Well, hold low, smoked him. Whew. We got him, guys. Those are all hens out there. Is there another buck? Oh, there's another buck. Throw it 420s back in real quick. There's the buck right there. I can't really see how big it is, but... Oh, what a, what just happened? I understand, like, it was a really bad angle to take that shot, but in all reality, like, what the heck just happened? 40 yards, and I range... So, maybe he was 40, and I ranged him for... Two. Oh, we got more white tail. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Okay, there's a doe. There's a uh, one trivial buck. But we'll take him down unless there's a bigger one. Oh, big buck, big buck, big buck. Oh my god, big buck. 60 yards out right there. No shot. The wind is blowing right towards him. Oh, come on. We gotta hope that he steps out a little bit closer. And doesn't sense us. Well, I think what we could do is try and put out a call to make him feel safe. Come on. Come on, big buck. This is that Y180 buck that I wanted to get two days ago. Come on. Where is he at? Oh, I see his rack. There he is. Oh my god, he's stepping out. He's stepping out. Come on, just follow that buck. Follow him right in. There he is, 55 yards. That is not a shot. Unfortunately, that is not a shot that I'm comfortable taking. I can only see his legs. Wait, 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 wait. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Let him come. Just let him come. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my God. He's less than 30 yards out coming right in. Oh, he stopped. Still no shot. 30 yards right there. Come on, Buck. Just keep following that deer. Oh, the doe's walking right underneath us. Dude, we got ducks laying here. We got turkeys laying here. We got bucks laying here. There's our buck. There's our buck right there. Wait, that's not our buck. Where's our buck? Oh my god, where's our buck? Guys. He's turning back. He's turning back. He's 40 yards out. We gotta go for a shot. Give me an opportunity for a shot. I'm drawing back. If you give me a shot, I'm taking it. That is not a shot. I am not taking that shot. Come on. Come on. It was so close. We almost had a shot. That's a shot. Got him! Nonetheless, he's definitely going to go down. That's the one thing about a spot like this. If the wind is bad, 
You could sit here all day and that buck's gonna keep coming close, but then it's gonna sense you and spook. So you kind of got to take the shot at your best opportunity that you have. In other words, when that buck comes in, if you get a chance for a shot, you cannot pass it up. And we had a chance right there. And not only that, he was alert. So we had no choice but to take that shot. And we got him. Got him a little further back. There's another duck over there as well. Oh my God, this spot is just an absolute gold mine. It's so awesome. I do believe we already did get a fox down, so let's check what time it is here. Basically, we're gonna hunt until 12, and then the moose are gonna come. But there could be fox, there could be turkey, there could be more ducks landing out here. So I honestly feel like we should just sit here, hang tight, and wait for the next animal to step in. Oh, right underneath us, another buck, another nice buck. That's that wide buck that we saw before. Oh, he's going to sense us here any second now. We got to be careful. Look at, yeah, he's sensing us. We're going to have to take a shot right below us here. I can't even take that shot. I can't take the shot. I can't. He's too close. He's too close. He's too close. Oh, man. I couldn't. I can't aim any lower. Look, that's it. That's it. That's all the lower I can go. Oh, oh. Oh my god, a male fox! A male fox! Hold up. There's something else coming past us. Oh, that's that doe. Hold on, this might be a nice male fox. If it's a nice male, then... Oh, it's a nice male! Oh, there's two males. I mean, that's not a male. There's two fox. But that's a nice male. We definitely want to get him. So let's for surely throw on our 300s quick here. Oh, here comes that buck. One trivial. Okay. Find the six. Oh, there he is. There's a six. I think. Yeah, that's a six. 80 yards out. We need a nice shot, though. It's way too far for a shot. So do we go for a shot on this buck? Nah, it's a one trivial. Where's the two? Come on, Fox. Just come in. Just follow all the deer. Look at, see? <gasps> right there! What just snuck in? Come on, draw back! Got him! Whew! Alright, Fox is going down. I don't think our six would have spooked far from that. Nope, it didn't spook at all. There it is. Oh my god. It's 100 yards out. It didn't spook at all. I gotta check. Okay, weapon class 2. So this is 1 and 2. 420. Oh, we can use the... Oh my god, I didn't know you could use the 420s on the fox. Oh, he was almost in range there. It's just there's no way we're gonna be able to take that shot because I can't even see the thing. So let's put in our 420s again and take down this buck if it walks right underneath us, which it probably should. There it is. 40 yards out. He's going to hold tight right there. 40 yards. So if we zero in for 40. And we should smoke it, right? Theoretically. Oh, yeah. We definitely smoked it. Surprising that didn't actually drop right on the spot, though, isn't it? All right, we'll throw our 300s back in and get ready for this fox. Oh, no, that's our buck. That's our buck that I wanted from before. You know, I feel like we should probably just keep the 420s in at this point. There's the wide buck. There's the wide buck. Because if we just use the 420s for the fox, it's going to be pretty much the same thing. At least I believe so, anyways. That's a doe. But there's our buck. Dropped him. Perfect shot. Is that a doe? I'm pretty sure it is. All right, come on. Where is this fox? Well, I'm not really like super worried about this fox because we have, well, <laughs> at this point, we basically have like nine more hours left before the fox are actually going to come right back to this spot and get a drink. Because if you look right here, they drink from 17 
Can't even spot it. There's so many marks there, but 1700 until 2000 at night. It's 11 o'clock in the morning, so next up the moose should be coming. And then after that, we'll still have plenty of time for the fox to come and drink. Oh my god, you guys, gobbler, 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 coming in. Two gobblers coming in. Oh my god, two gobblers coming in. Get the 300s back out. All right, 300s are back out. There's our gobbler right there coming in right next to our nice white tail buck. All right, so we're locked and loaded. Gobbler's coming in. We know it's going to be, what, 20 yards out? Man, he's coming in so perfect. We might be able to double up here. Smoked him. Perfect heart shot. Dropped him right there. All right, the second gobbler is right behind. I don't see it, though. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. I think if we're calm, he might keep on coming out this direction. Yep, here he comes, here he comes. It's about 30 right there, but I want to take him right when he gets on that road. Which will put him at about 20. Oh, here we go. That's 23. So I can hold it right on him. Perfect shot, dropped him right there too. Got a couple more turkeys coming. I think these are all hens though. Oh man, that was perfect. That was so awesome. All right, I have a question. How many animals do you think we already have down at this point? Cause I would say probably 13. I mean, you gotta remember we got a fox, we got rabbit, we got bear, we got whitetail, we got ducks. Like, yeah, we probably have 13 animals down at this point. Oh, another turkey, it's a hen though. Couple turkeys here. Or is that one? Ah, oh, there's two. That hen is just running in circles around that brush. I mean, if I can get a headshot, I'll take one. Didn't get the head, but uh, got something. Ooh, almost got him on the fly. Oh, there was another one there, huh? Another hen. Yeah, I don't know what in the heck we hit on that shot there, but I was holding for the head for 12. And it was 15, so we would have shot a little. Oh, that's why. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. All right, so there's still one more duck out there. Oh, hold up. Bunch of golden eye coming in. Oh, nice straight golden eye. We really want to get that, because if we get that, then we can get a gold duck of every species from this map. Because we already have guaranteed a gold Drake Mallard duck right there, but we don't have a gold golden eye. Oh, there goes that Mallard. And there goes that Mallard. Interesting. So the mallard ducks took off, and it looks like the golden eye are about to land. Very interesting. We still have the 300s locked and loaded here. But if they land over there, that's going to make for a very difficult shot. So hopefully some land a little bit closer to us. I think that's a good idea, too. All right. So, let's start picking some up. First off, got a hen right underneath us. And then, we got this buck. Double long shot, 150. Seven yards away. And we got two more hens down over here. And that fox, which we'll have to come back later and look for. I really want to find that fox. Spine shot on that hen. Can we get our arrow back by any chance? No, probably not, because we shot it right into the rocks. But then we have two ducks out here. Which reminds me, we'll have to get that greenhead duck over there as well. Here we go, 894. And pulled off a 50-yard shot right to the breastbone. Decent Drake Goldeneye. And here is the hen that we took at 160 yards and got an intestine pelvis shot. There is... Another buck over there as well, which we'll have to come back for. Uh, we might be able to get him now, depending on how much time we have. 
Uh, probably like 15 minutes because they don't come exactly at 12. They usually come around like 12, 15, 12, 20 or something like that. But here we go. We got to get a picture of this, guys. We got to get a picture of this. Check this out. We got two beautiful gobblers and a giant white tail buck laying here side by side. Yeah, we definitely need a picture of that. And maybe even a screenshot, potentially. I hear something coming in. It's a doe. But. Hopefully she's alone. I was hoping it wasn't going to be a moose. What do we got flying over there now? Greenling teal. Oh, so we do have teal here. Well, we could probably take a shot over there. All right, so anyways, let's start picking us up. All right, so anyways, let's start picking some of these up here. There's our gobbler, 4.34, made a neck. Ooh, perfect neck shot, 20 yards out. I like that. That's perfect. Middle neck and lower neck. So I'm wondering if we did the exact same thing on this gobbler here. We did do the exact same thing. 4.32 gold. Middle neck and lower neck, 23 yards out. But then we got our beautiful white tail buck down here that we wanted for so long. Let's take a look at him. Ended up getting a double lung spine shot and a 226 gold. Took him at 30 yards out. You can see we were kind of high up in that tree stand there, but the exit came out through pretty much the middle of the opposite lung there. So pretty awesome shot and a beautiful white tail buck down all right guys we just got us on our first moose here it's a cow but where there's a cow there definitely could be oh what is that is that a bull oh it is a bull well it's not a very big bull but it's definitely a bull so we're about to take down our first bull moose out of a tree stand and there he is right there Boy, it's not a very big one at all. <laughs> the wind is not very good at all right now. It's blowing right towards him, but luckily he's not very big. So that's the case. He's not going to be able to sense us. Oh, he's right underneath us. Is he going to drink right there? Oh, he's alert. I don't really like this angle for a shot. Oh, I like that one much better, though. Took him quartering away at 10 yards, and we smoked him. All right, well, because I don't see any sign of that other bull coming in, what I want to do is get down and pick up some more animals here. Mainly, I want to go over there, pick up this other buck, and I want to see if we can't pick up the bull, that small bull that we got. So here's the buck that we shot this morning. And nice double lung shot, 22 yards out there. Almost got the top of the heart, actually. All right, so what I want to do is go over here and pick up that mallard duck that we shot this morning, which is this one here. 16.05 gold, black, brown, beautiful duck. Took him at 65 yards out with the bow. So there's our gold Drake mallard duck. And I want to go over here and see if we did, in fact, happen to get that fox. Dude, the fox is laying right here. We got him. We got him. There's some blood right here from something. No organs hit. I wonder if maybe it's because we used the 320s? I thought we used the 420s. 60 yards out and we dropped a little bit low. Well, we dropped a lot low, a lot, lot low. But we also didn't have a very good angle for a shot either. Cool looking fox, dark red, and luckily it was only a female, 7.10, but hey, we got that fox. That's what I really wanted to know. And I'm glad we found out that we got it. I'm wondering if maybe that level six fox is over here with this female that just called. Because we just got a call from a fox over here. But I want to go over here first and pick up our rabbit that we took at about 80 yards out. 88 yards, drop low again. But got him in the left radius ulna. And that's a female. So now the only thing that we have left is that moose that we shot. I don't know where in the heck it went. It pretty much ran right through here, did it not? But I am kind of surprised that we're not seeing a moose piled up here anywhere. 
Anyways, and we also have our black bear. So let's go over here and get our black bear. Which should be back here somewhere. Alright, so there's the stand. Yeah, there it is right there. As a matter of fact, took a 45-yard shot and pulled off. Okay, that's that cow. Not really interested in her, but pull off a Texas heart shot. And I think we dropped it right on the spot. Oh, check that out. 18.12, almost a goal. But if that isn't a Texas heart shot, I don't know what is. Look at that penetration. Holy look at that penetration. Went right through the intestine, through the liver, through the lung, and came out the opposite shoulder. Almost made a heart shot. Then it would have been a true Texas heart shot. But, I mean, that's the angle that we had right there to deal with, right? And we put it pretty much right on the money. You really couldn't beat that shot. Except maybe if we were a little bit more left, then we would have probably hit the heart. But, nonetheless, good looking bear down, and we took him out of our tree stand. Well, we finally got eyes on a nice bull moose, the level three that I was telling you guys about. And he sensed us. In fact, he is right over there. That's going to be him right there. So what's going to happen here is he'll probably run around a little bit before he gets tired out. And then once he calms down, he'll want to work his way back across this little crossing here. And I'm hoping that the wind starts shifting more to the east by the time that actually does happen. You gotta be kidding me. So I just went down to go over and see if we got that fox from before to find out how the 300s worked and all of a sudden right below us, there was two fox crossing and I'm talking right below us. Like we literally just got to the ground and I look up and there was a fox less than 10 yards away from us. So I quickly turn, try to get into the tree stand, and by the time we got in here, they already took off. Ooh, we got a bear coming in though. Now I'm not saying these fox are gonna go super, super far. So we are in fact definitely gonna pay attention to where they're heading to. But it looks like we also have some whitetail coming across now as well. Wow. Finally starting to pick up. Unfortunately, that big bull never did come in. But we're definitely getting some action now. All right, here comes this female black bear, and you can bet we're going to be taking a shot on her. Got the 420s locked and loaded here, but it will definitely take her down if we can put a solid hit onto her. Oh, here she comes. Going to be about 27 yards. What the heck did I just spot? 26 yards out. Oh, tried for a heart shot, and I think we got it. Oh! <laughs> I think we just pulled off a freaking heart shot 25 yards on the walk. I have absolutely no clue how that bear would go down that fast if we didn't hit the heart. So that's why I'm thinking we pulled off a heart shot because, I mean, that thing didn't go 20 yards and piled up with the 420s. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Oh my God, he came in, he snuck in on me. I never even knew he was there. Got the moose collar though. Maybe we could try and get his attention. Been trying to get this bull for a little while here. And the wind is not good either. But there's our bull. Oh, he's interested. He's definitely coming in. He's pretty close. He's about 40 yards out there. That's a shot. Oh, oh my God. What a shot. Perfect, perfect shot. I was hugging tight to that tree, trying not to hit the tree. And we were holding for the heart because that's pretty much all we could really go for. And we made an epic shot and dropped him pretty much right there. Look at what just landed right next to us. A bunch of golden eye. And there's a nice drake right there. Finally, guys, we're about to get ourselves our first big gold drake. Golden and I. All right. Oh, and of course, there'd be a fox right there. Luckily, it's not the six, and I don't think our six is with that one. So we're going for a shot. 42 yards out. Here we go. If 
41. No! No! How the, how the heck did we miss that? That doesn't even make any sense. All right, guys, so we've been sitting here for a little while and not much action besides that moose and the fox, which the fox hasn't came back yet. But we got a golden eye, a Drake golden eye duck out here at 200 yards. And that actually could potentially be our first gold golden eye. So I'd really like to try and get him. All right, so we'll zero in for 150. Is that our fox? No, that's not our fox. That's a female. Was there one for 162? And hold a little right and high. Whoa, why did our shot go so high? All right, well, I guess we don't have to hold high. Our shot literally went right over the top of that duck. So that should be perfect then. I don't exactly know how that shot didn't connect. But if that one didn't connect, then that one definitely should. Got him! Yes! Woo! All right, there we go, guys. That should be our first gold golden eye right there. I'd like to get a pheasant, but I just don't think that's going to happen. We had one opportunity. And that's pretty much it. Kind of an opportunity. I mean, he flew, landed close by, but I didn't know exactly where he was. We decided to take a shot at, uh, wait, I hear something else coming in. Is there another fox? Oh my God, right below us. You got to be kidding me. Holy. There's a female fox right below us. I mean, if I don't see him, then yeah, we'll take down this fox here. But I thought for sure we'd be able to see where he's at. I am not seeing him. So let's go for this fox at 13 yards. Got him. Ooh. Rolled him right over. All right. I really want to know if we can actually use these 420s on the fox. Because I just don't know. Look at all those ducks out there. We smoked the gold golden eye right there. And nothing even spooked. All right. Let's hop down and go take a look at this fox. I mean, that fox was literally less than 10 yards away from us. It's saying a vital hit, so that's looking pretty good so far. 6.24. And we need 10 to be gold, but look at all the checks right here. Proper ammo, so we can in fact use the 420s. Wow, look at that shot. Double lung and just clip the top of the heart as well from out of the tree stand. So yeah, we definitely can in fact use the 420s on the fox. So that is awesome to know. Something's calling back there. I don't know what that is, but. Oh, really? Oh, so close to a gold golden eye, but not quite. Pretty epic shot though, 162 yard right to the neck on that gold potential golden eye which missed it by four points well this fox finally decided to come in he's out here at about 30 yards right in front of us and we do happen to have the 300s locked and loaded so far i'm gonna take him once she turns uh, not quite a shot there oh man come on Oh, drilled her. Oh, there she goes. Obviously, we're not going to get much penetration with these uh, 300 grain arrows, but she is definitely hit pretty hard. A bear. 
A bear is right there. And a bull moose just called. And there's a red fox coming as well. Holy, you got to be kidding me. What to do is the question. Well, that bull is not very impressive. Uh, he's a three, but yeah, he's not very impressive. So we got the 420s in. Uh, we're definitely going to go for a shot in this big white tail buck if he gives us a shot. That is him. So he's actually not as big as I thought he was. He looks like way bigger. There's no way that's our buck. Hold on, maybe it is. All right. That bear is like right underneath us. This moose is walking right past us as well. And there goes that fox. Out there at 120. I just don't know like what to even do at this point. There's so much to do. And I can't make up my mind on what we should do. Ooh, I'll tell you what, we're not passing this opportunity up, I'll tell you that. Got a fox, a nice male walking right underneath us here. Smoked him. Fox down. So that should be our bear. Uh, yeah, I have no clue where. Oh, there it is. So it's a female. We had those white tail, we had that moose. Then we had another fox and another fox. But we decided to take down the decent male right below us. It is not a fox, it's a black bear and she's about to walk right past us here. We're gonna go with the 420s on her. But she's about to walk right past us. Oh, where'd she go? She is right there. 20 yards out. Not quite good enough for a shot. Unless, if we threw in the 600s, then that could work. Ooh, that'll definitely work. 20 yards. Smoked. Man, that was kind of epic. Wow. She's already down. And she's floating in the water. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Huh. Well, I think on that note, that should be it. We literally hunted pretty much every animal possible from this location. Aside from like the pheasant, coyote, and maybe bobwhite quail. Yeah, we, we got a lot. <laughs> we got a lot. In fact, we're gonna go down here now and pick them up. Starting with this bear that we just got right now. All right, let's take a look at this female black bear. Ended up getting a spine lung shot 24 yards out with the 600 grain arrows but now all right let's go over here and grab this moose oh and our bear that we pulled off a heart shot i almost forgot about that guys i'm so glad we came over here wait a second did we pull off a heart shot on the moose and the bear i think we might have here's our bull moose yes we did in fact pull off a heart shot at 55 yards on that bull when he was facing us there 170 that was a decent bull, but this is what I'm more impressed by. Take a look at that shot placement right there with the 420s and to have him only go 25 yards. Okay, okay, so we didn't get the heart, but we absolutely smoke that bear on the trot at 30 yards. Just actually barely missed the back of the heart there. So a super epic shot, 14.9 and it was a female. Well, let's get this fox. Oh, ended up pulling off a heart shot. 7.31. Got a turkey flying over the top of us. But 
heart shot out of the tree stand and left lung at 13 yards. That's pretty epic right there. Sweet looking fox as well. 7.31. So we were over here trying to get our bull. And then a bobcat came running out of nowhere. It was a nice one too. Nice level 7. Kind of glad we missed it because we'd have too much hunting pressure here. But let's pick up this bull. All right. There's a double lung shot at 19 yards out as it turned. So we absolutely smoked that bull. Pretty small one, but you know what? A bull's a bull. And that was our first bull, technically, out of this tree stand. Then we have our fox over here, as well as the second whitetail buck that we got. There's still those two 180 plus bucks here. I wouldn't mind getting one of those bucks. But I'm pretty content with how we did so far today. That was a one trivial. Pulled off a lung shot there. And here's our fox that we hit with. The 300 grain arrows pulled off a liver shot on the walk at 17 yards out guys he was directly below us 8.35 pretty solid female at that but on that note that is gonna wrap up this hunt and i think in total we ended up getting we literally have the entire screen filled up with animals that means we got over 20 animals from that one tree stand including one, two, three, four golds. We got two gold turkeys, a gold mallard duck, and our big gold whitetail buck as well. But yeah, if you start at the bottom and go all the way to the top, that is 20 animals. And I know we definitely got more than that because the first animal was not a turkey. Pretty sure the first animal was a fox in the very beginning. Anyways, that is a lot of animals, all from one tree stand. All right, guys, in case you want to know where we hunted today in this incredible tree stand, I'll show you right now on the very northwest end of the map by Tuckerman Range. Way up here, the Greenlee Wilderness. There is two little lakes right here, and we are by Lake Kawasuk. And we have our tree stand set up right here. We literally got out there at 7 o'clock in the morning, waited for the whitetail to come, and we hunted until 20 hundred at night. But in total, I do believe we did in fact take down 25 animals from that one tree stand. That was so much fun. And honestly, I would recommend trying out that spot. It, it was just an absolute all out blast all day long action non-stop. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.